expensive shopping district on the planet and they take more money than any luxury good district anywhere on earth yes, that's a Ginza shopping for you and Higashi Ginza is your Kabuki the theater in your district I come to Tokyo often so if you like to know any information about it, I'll give you some information <laughs> Central Tokyo and there's underneath there are three other roads you got to go heading towards north so you got to go towards Bueno which is straight ahead for us serving north of Japan's Tokyo Metropolitan District yes well it's going to cost my back my pocket but the time is the essence here today so we are going to use this highway and the expressway to bypass all of the below Tokyo traffic yes as you can see we are just built, coming into the build up area of Japan's Tokyo Metropolitan District just hitting the outskirts of Central Tokyo. As you can see the roads are marked in a way that the traffic needs to be accommodating its traffic danger zones. As you can see the board up is clearly showing to drivers be sensible on your bend. Go slow on my curves. Go gentle on my curves. You go up and down beyond the second level down yet and then we go down to the third level to the basement because we have built up area now and this is it this is what you call Japan's Tokyo uh, intelligent management of traffic and they're making people move from side to side left to right without having to sit like puppets on the traffic junctions bypassing all the traffic systems that are possible yes it's called the intelligent management of in a city that is constantly growing to manage and accommodate the traffic the traffic congestion and all of those unknown areas of the city Yet, the guys behind the scene are managing, recording the traffic flow to make plans, to make road infrastructure programs to suit and move people in this very busy and time is the essence here. If you say a time, if you mention a time, you got to meet the time within a minute. Otherwise, you lose the trust and the understanding between how to function in this very critically important city on the planet. Yes. Just keep going, just keep going. Yes. No excuse, as you can see. And it's telling you advance notices that the road is going to split in 100 meters. And you got the sound barriers to keep the sound inside the road rather than go outside of the road. 
road is split in to try and infrastructure support on this overhead bridge. And there's the ATC traffic. And if you're on through traffic, you just stay on this road. It doesn't matter, you stay on 50, but not today. It's just less than five kilometers an hour. To the right, you can see there the traffic. There's no place to park, so they hoist your car. That's the police department. ね、帰る家があるっていうのは本当に、なんとも。本当に。キープゴイン、キープゴイン。いや。Let There's traffic cameras, it monitors your flow, it tells the sensors, tell you for the traffic board. It shows exactly where you are, how you are driving and where the traffic congestions are so you can avoid the traffic. And the road signs showing you dramatic and graphic signs to show that be careful on the bend as you come to a congested area. Advance notice. And it's practical, just making people aware and be keeping their eyes open on the road. Keep note of your danger zones and danger sections of this road. It doesn't apply to Japan, but it applies to anywhere on the planet. Be conscious about it. Understand? Bayshore route. Spatial roots. That's only if you're going to its Narita. Uh, I'm going to go through the city because there's no other way. But also, you can go through here in the direction of Narita. the navigation it tells you to go right around the place where you don't want to be in because you're going to be congested in an area that is too complex to drive so I'm going to bypass that section now hopefully try and fall into an area that it's going to be back on track again but never mind let's give it a chance on this road <laughs> no idea I'm in Tokyo, just go with the flow. That means it's going to cost you more. Paul, where are you? On a bike? Let's <laughs> keep going. This is it. This is it. This is it, son. Yeah, so what do you do when you arrive straight away from an 11 hour flight? No sleep, just a bit of sleep. Uh, you get a car and you just go driving. It's a time that you should be sleeping at home if you traveled out of Europe. Yeah. And it's just come up to 11 o'clock in the morning here in Tokyo. That's in the summertime, so it's eight hours ahead from European or GMT or British summertime. GMT, nine hours, by the way. If you're in Europe, it's seven hours. Still time to sleep, I guess. Four o'clock in the morning. Whoa, wide awake, I am. <laughs> Drive. That's Narita, there you go. We are arriving at one of the most busy intersections on this lane and it tells you stay on the right. You just can't stay on the right because that's where everybody wants to go. Nice fast car just over there. Kazami Nori. 
Tohoku Express. That's what we want. Tohoku. We are going to Fukushima. Fukushima. Remember Fukushima? Everybody remembers Fukushima because that's where the disaster occurred. And it's Tohoku Expressway. It's towards Fukushima. Going north. <laughs> 